What is up guys, welcome to my trailer breakdown for Arrow Season 6 Episode 20 titled Shifting Alliances and Arrow has actually been on quite a roll for the last couple weeks ever since Episode 17 aired which was pretty great and then Episode 18 was one of the best episodes of the show ever and then Episode 19 was actually pretty great as well. I'm hopeful this season will, this episode will continue the trend of this season being actually pretty great and maybe the rest of the episodes will as well and that may, that may make Season 6 a overall good season even though the first 15 episodes weren't amazing or anything. The, it, it's the last couple that really decide what the season is in general. So with that in mind, let's watch the trailer for episode 20. You really expect me to believe that you are scared of a thug like Diaz? You see this man? Savior of the city. I put you on the ground, you leave Star City forever. You put me on the ground, I'll do the same. Arrow. All new this Thursday at 9, 8 central on The CW. So we can clearly see the the basic premise of the episode from the trailer. Diaz, Ricardo Diaz is, is uh, seemingly challenging Oliver to a duel, and the loser has to leave Star City. So uh, a lot of people have been saying that this fight just shouldn't be a fight because you have Ricardo Diaz, a guy who can clearly he can fight well, but he's no Oliver Queen. Oliver Queen can take out... R really anyone in this universe that we've seen. He took out Ra's al Ghul, he took out Slade, he took out Malcolm Rowan, and Damian Dark, and Prometheus. And now you have Ricardo Diaz, who was, his at least his fighting ability, was not as developed as any of those guys, maybe more than Damian Dark, maybe, but the other guys had just their fighting ability much more developed, and now Oliver is even more experienced than he was then, so it just doesn't make sense. This fight, scene, this fight doesn't make any sense. Ricardo Diaz should not even stand a chance. We've seen him throughout the season. We've seen him fighting Diggle, and Diggle put up a huge fight, and I think uh, Diggle managed to, I think, win, or maybe Ricardo Diaz won, I don't really remember, but Diggle put up a huge fight to the point where Oliver should just annihilate Ricardo Diaz in, like, very quickly, and then Thea put up a big fight to the point where Oliver should do the exact same thing that he did in Diggle's case, so it's just, his fighting ability was not built up well, and this is a character who is the, one of the best fighters in the DC Universe in the comics, so that's a big complaint I've had with this character, is that his fighting ability along with him himself, but right now I'm talking about his fighting, fighting ability, it just has not been developed enough. We saw in the previous episode, episode 19, that's really the first time we've seen anything from him in terms of fighting. We saw him like take down a couple guys at once, but he was using a gun, and when he was using his fists, he didn't really, he didn't really have control of the situation. So this fight, I agree with all the comments on this trailer. It shouldn't really happen. It doesn't make any sense. Green Arrow or Oliver Queen should take out Ricardo Diaz in no time flat. But that's almost definitely not going to happen in this episode. Uh, Ricardo Diaz will almost definitely beat Green Arrow or Oliver Queen in this fight for no reason. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I agree with that. But that's what's going to happen almost definitely because this is not the season finale. And that means that Ricardo Diaz will not be leaving the the city. He's going to take over the city. We see throughout the, the, the rest of the episodes, he's almost definitely going to just take over the rest of the city until Oliver Queen takes it back, or Green Arrow takes it back in the final episode, probably in the season finale, like, it might go past that even, but that's, I don't really know, I don't really know how I feel about that, but that's not my point, my point is, he's definitely not gonna leave the city in this episode, so even though it makes no sense whatsoever, Ricardo Diaz will almost definitely defeat Oliver Queen in this fight, maybe it's because Oliver Queen just isn't, like, psychologically all there in this episode, like, he doesn't feel like he could beat him, even though, even though he should, because I don't think Oliver Queen has ever seen Ricardo Diaz fight, as far as I remember, so maybe he thinks that Ricardo Diaz is just the greatest fighter of all time, and that's how he took over the city, I don't really know, but, um, in practice, there's no way, in, like, if they were evenly matched, if, if they were, um, just put in an arena, and these two have to fight each other, Oliver Queen will win, would win every time, so even though it doesn't make any sense, eh, Ricardo Diaz will still almost definitely win this fight. So this episode is, tall, is titled "Shifting Alliances," and there's only really there's really only one thing that could be talking about, and that, that thing is the Black Siren Redemption Arc. We saw that Redemption Arc really come to fruition in the last episode, with Black Siren being grossed out by murder and burning people alive and killing lots of people, which doesn't really make sense if you think about it. I didn't really think about it when I was reviewing the last episode. When when you think about it, it doesn't really make sense because Black Siren has killed so many people. Like she she like. She screamed once and brought down an entire building in Central City. So I don't really understand why she's so grossed out by just murder and burning people alive. Sure, burning somebody alive is brutal, 
but I mean taking down a whole building is as well and they really should have stuck to the Quentin thing because that's how I thought they would bring her back like in season 5 they were doing pretty well with Oliver until that didn't that went wrong but with this season Quentin was really uh, turning her around so they should have just stuck with that and we see like those two co those two things the thing that we saw in the last episode with her being grossed out by what Ricardo Diaz is doing and the things we saw in all the previous episodes where she's really bonding with Quentin we see that come into fruition in this episode because you see the promotional photos here where Quentin is meeting up with uh, Black Siren and Diaz and he's learning that Black Siren is working with him and I definitely think that this because of this because Quentin is meeting her as well as her doubts in the last episode as well as the fact that this episode is called Shifting Alliances, mean, meaning that uh, Laura will shift her alliances from bad to good or from working with Diaz to working with Green Arrow. This is definitely the episode where the redemption arc finally ends and she joins Team Arrow, which is something I'd honestly love to see. I wouldn't mind if the other Black Canary either retired and just became a full-on cop or left the show or maybe even died because even though I like her costume more and I like the fact that she has superpowers more than the last Laura Lance, I just like the last actress more. I, I like Kitty Cassidy more than I like Juliana Harkavy for as the role of Black Canary. So if if a Kitty Cassidy is returning and even an even better version of her because she has the sonic cry and she doesn't really have a backstory with Oliver. I think that's a big problem they did with Black Canary. They gave her a black a backstory with Oliver and the fact that she didn't have powers like a sonic cry. So this uh, Black Siren joining the team would honestly be the perfect uh, situation. And it seems like that's happening in this episode for three reasons. The three things I mentioned. Um, one, that she was really having doubts the last episode. Two, her bond with Quentin, which uh, you see those two meeting in this episode. And three, that this episode is titled Shifting Alliances. So to get a better understanding of the episode, I'm going to read the synopsis. And the synopsis reads, Oliver turns to an old friend to help battle Diaz. Renee's out of the hospital but has a hard time readjusting to life as a wild dog. Lance discovers something shocking about Black Siren. So I already talked about the last thing, which is Lance discovers something shocking about Black Siren, which is the fact that she is working with Diaz, which will lead to the redemption arc, like I said earlier. So the old friend the synopsis is talking about when it says that Oliver turns to an old friend to help battle Diaz, that old friend is Anatoly Kanaezov. The way I know that is easily just go just on the Arvers wiki it says old friend it's a you click on it it goes to Anatoly Kanaezov also I also I actually already knew that though because he's a guest he is guest starring on the episode as well as the fact that you see this promotional photo and it's Oliver talking to Anatoly and I don't really know why he would turn to Anatoly for help maybe for inside help maybe for Anatoly to tell him what Diaz is what to, for Anatoly to to tell Oliver what Diaz is up to, or Oliver trying to convince Anatoly to fight with him against Diaz, but even, I mean, he doesn't really need that, because he just, could, he, he, he wanted to fight alone, so I don't know why he goes from wanting to fight alone to wanting to fight with Anatoly, but we know that Anatoly is still working with Diaz, so I don't know how this will turn out, I don't know if Oliver has really thought this through, but it's possible that Anatoly is all, just like Black Siren, is shifting alliances, because that is, Again, the title of this episode, so maybe it's a lot of characters shifting alliances, like Black Siren shifting alliances, Anatoly shifting alliances, maybe even Diggle shifting alliances, because you see in the promotional photos, which, which I will talk about in a minute, Diggle is uh, working with New Team Arrow or The Outsider, so maybe that's a sort of shift of alliances as well. But um, Oliver turning to an old friend to help battle Diaz doesn't like it, it doesn't really make any sense because he wanted to work alone, but now he wants to ask an old friend for help. But again, it just might be for intel on Diaz or to convince him to uh, switch sides. But hopefully, I want Anatoly to like I want this to lead to Anatoly hating Oliver even more, so that in season seven he could become the main villain, which is what he should have been in season six. But we'll see where this goes when the episode comes out. So I said I'm going to talk about this photo right here, and I will right now. So it seems like Diggle is working with the Outsiders, and it's, there's another person here who is probably Wild Dog, but in a different getup. Maybe he lost his costume. Maybe he, like it says in the synopsis, he has a hard time readjusting to his life as a Wild Dog. Maybe he doesn't like that costume anymore because of that, and uh, he's wearing this costume, or not really costume, this uniform instead. But I, don't, I honestly have no idea what the the Outsiders are doing here, what Mr. Terrific Black Canary and Wild Dog, along with Diggle, are doing here. I honestly have no idea. That's probably going to be the side plot of the episode, but the trailer and the synopsis and even the, prom the promotional photos don't give anything away towards what they're doing here. All I know is that Diggle, for some reason, is teaming up with them and Wild Dog is back. Wild Dog has been gone for a while now, ever since Collision Course, which is episode, I think, 14, 
but I don't really know why they made him gone for so long. Like, he is a main character, and he just he, he hasn't shown up for four episodes. I don't really know why, because they're paying him anyway, so it's definitely not cost-related. It's they just they couldn't think of a way to write him in, which, when you have a character that you... When you have, like, a main character where you can't find a way to write him into an episode, you know that you have too many main characters, which is something this show definitely has, which is why they should have killed, like, two or three of them in uh, the island explosion to make it more possible to, like, have every, every character on it, at least, like, almost every episode. So they really should trim down the cast so that they, they don't have to worry about having, like, a character gone for four episodes, which is what Wild Dog was. But this character right here is almost definitely Wild Dog, and Diggle's working with them. I just don't know what they're doing. So let me know what you thought about this trailer in the comments down below, and let me know how excited you are for this episode based off the trailer, synopsis, and promotional photos, as well as why or how you think Ricardo Diaz will defeat Oliver in this fight. Like, is it because he's cheating, like using Vertigo or something to drug Oliver? I don't really know, but let me know what you think in the comments down below, and let me know if you think uh, Black Siren will actually shift alliances in this in the um, in the episode, as well as Anatoly and what um, New Team Arrow are doing here in this promotional photo, and definitely follow me on Twitter for daily updates on my videos because YouTube isn't really working, as well as daily polls on Twitter where uh, I do a poll on the Arrowverse or anything superhero TV show slash movie related, and if, if you don't have Twitter or you don't want to follow me for any reason, click the notification icon next to the subscribe button because that definitely helps, and thanks for watching.